How are we? Happy Monday from my end of the world to yours. I hope you are extraordinary today. Had an extraordinary, exceptional start to your week, calling in all the magic that you desire and deserve because you know, right now you are tuned in to Boss Queen TV, which is your soul abundance channel for all the women, the queens out there who are ready to summon soul success on their own terms because they know that they're here to live a soul lit or soul lit life and of course and business and are no longer available for anything less than having it all on your own terms so that to that let me just get this link and share it share the magic into my little Facebook group and of course if you are tuning in by all means say hello let me know where you are tuning in from and what are you are most excited about today yeah you're feeling the fire I don't know about you but I feel incredibly oh no 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 don't do that <laughs> incredibly excited um mind you I've had one of those a hey, super 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 productive days um smashing out content for all the money queens in the world like legit all the money queens in the world like the german speaking one and the english speaking one so they all got their content today and meditations and downloads and all the good stuff um and then i've had a couple of ideas i was like oh a couple of ideas of what i'm going to bring out and then of course tonight in about two and a half hours i'll be jumping into um my facebook group and I will be doing um, a bonus. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Come on, come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Okay, good, a little bit of randomness. Let's work, try that again. Uh, okay, so perfect. That is hopefully working. Why have I got the setting set up like that? Silly Billy. Anyhow, so randomness aside. Um, just to prove it already. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Little technical hiccup. So anyhow, yes, I'm doing an extra, um, like a, uh, like a release activation tonight, um, based on the three day soul alignment activation I did, uh, last week. And that was really divine. So if you are someone who says, Hey, you know what? I am not here just to, you know, create a business and make money. I really feel that there's a, a purpose and I only want to you know, monetize that purpose. I only want to create a business like led by soul. Oh, you know, answer those souls calling, live a life in what feels so yummy and divine, what we call alignment. Um, then definitely you may want to come into the group and you might want to check out the three part activation. We talked about, um, what is soul alignment? And I said, I believe it's soul remembrance. So we talked about that. We talked about, um, what, you know, soul's purpose, AKA your soul's calling. We talked a little bit about that and we talked about soul's desires so some cool words that are being thrown out there i totally believe in all of them i totally believe that i know am no longer available for anything less than living a life that's like a fuck yes on, on soul's level um so you may want to come in and have a look at that and check that out whilst the replay is still up and right now we're gonna have a conversation about thinking yourself rich is not enough you also have to be able to feel it oh yes now i'm, I'm gonna say a couple of things about that because as i said having done all the training and the downloads for my money queens i feel like oh there's been a couple of things that i just see happening and i obviously love my clients i love them i love them i love them because they always show me where there is more to give and more to add value and more to create that space for transformation and so with that conversation today, I wanted to really talk about that money. Well, first of all, I feel like I know that we want to create more money. We all want to, you know, call in more money. We want to be rich and all that sort of shit. But it's actually never about the money. You know that. We, it's never about the money. And really what it is about, and I'm pretty sure you may know that, but so it may just be a reminder it's not about the money, it's about the magic, okay? Now talk about magic as, you know, I've been reminding you that magic stands for exceptional, extraordinary experiences, which now we've got three E words, and now, thanks to 
one of my soulmate clients, I have three A words in German. I had two A words and, a, and an E word, and then she gave me an A word. So in German, magic, so extraordinary, exceptional experiences. In German is atemberaubende, außergewöhnliche Augenblicke. Just in case there is like the odd German watching this as well. Because, you know, there are more dual bilingual soul queens and badasses out there. Um, so, yeah, so it's never about the money. It's never about like, oh, you know, it's really about what the money stands for. And for us, it's, a, you know, live a life in freedom, live a life of flow, live a fulfilled life, right? Where we get to have so much fun and create lots of magic. So the first tip I want to share with you is please... Stop worrying about the money. And I know that's so easily said, but you need to understand that the more you, you make it about the money, the more you attach yourself to the money, the more you're actually creating this energy of desperation, this energy of, oh my God, where is the money and it can't come you enough and what if this and what if that and you keep worrying and you keep stressing and you keep struggling because you are actually sending vibrations to the universe of not enough. Not enough time, not enough energy, not enough money, not enough client, not enough resources, not enough possibility, not enoughness. And that is not how it works, okay? So we actually go back to a scarcity thinking, a lack, you know, a lack of energy. And that's obviously the wrong vibration we want to send. So really, we got to flip it. We got to detach from it. And the, the biggest thing is to really learn to trust that, you know what, as long as you show up, every single day, hey Caitlin, to the fullest expression of yourself, you every day, you know, speak your truth and you show up there and you literally, I mean, you show up and you, you, you know, you give it your best, you give it your all and you push in a, in a sense of you, you know, you connect that uh, relationship to your purpose and you add value and you're out there doing and you do it every day and you sell every day and you show your message every day you create content every day and you work on yourself every day the money will come the money will come and it is absolutely come actually the less you focus about money probably the more money can flow to you okay so that's the one thing secondly now obviously right we gotta really think about the programming around money, like your beliefs, the stories around money. And I was just sharing on my German Boss Green TV episode how it's really interesting how we have been so programmed even to not even allow ourselves things to be easy. I don't know if you ever noticed that because how, like, it's almost like in order to receive like more money, it's like we always make it out to be such a battle. Like, oh yeah, but I've worked really fucking hard for it. You know, I've done it all the time. When people say, oh, you're so lucky, or you, oh, you've got such an amazing life. I'm like, yeah, but I've worked really, really hard and look what I've sacrificed. You know, as if to say, oh, well, you know, like, ah, oh, the badge of honor because, you know, it couldn't just be easy to be received. And I'm like, oh, actually, that's really interesting. You know, or people tell you you're too much or too loud or too crazy or too confident or too, like, full on too opinionated, uh, too muchness, hello my darling, too much, you know, and, and who are you to think, you know, and you're all about the money, and I'm like, no way, like, fuck, man, seriously, like, so many things people kind of put upon you to say, like, oh, wow, so of course, you know, it can't be easy then to receive, like, we don't even allow ourselves it to be easy, we feel like it has to be really hard, like, you have to work really hard, and I get that we have to work for it, I get that we have to take action for it, I mean, this is work, but this is not hard, I love it, like, if you let me, I would probably hang out with you all day, every day, and just talk my stuff, you know, I, because it's, you know, so it's not hard, you know what I'm saying? So that's a really interesting thought to really think about too, like where you're not allowing yourself to receive with ease because, you know, it has to be hard. I'm like, wow, can we not flip it? And can we not choose to believe that it can be easy? You know, can we not because receiving is our natural state? And I'm going to talk about this part, actually, the receiving part, so much more in my upcoming program, by the way. So if you want to be there, it's a two weeks intensive only, only 14 days um, of learning how to receive like a queen, right? The art of receiving like a queen. So this is about releasing to receive so they can rule and obviously create and call in all the money 
the magic and the miracles the universe wants to like hand to you, right? Then let me know because we're going to talk about that specific even more, like the specificity of receiving with ease, allowing ourselves to receive. Because I truly believe that in order to create more success in your life, it's actually not about working harder. It's first of all working smarter, but no, it's also it's really about allowing yourself to receive more which is so interesting, but so powerful. And this is like, you know, almost like the base of everything I teach now. So obviously, if you want to know about more, if you want to know more about the program, let me know. I will talk about this probably more throughout the week because we kick off already next Monday. So there's no, like, no messing around. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about, so even if we can get above and beyond the receiving part, I guess, to really change that money story long term, we got to obviously change our mindset. That means like we got to change the way that we look at money, the way that we perceive money, the way how we feel about money, you know, like the money, you know, uh, the, you know, being like ideally, obviously, we want to be a money magnet, you know, money fest, money with ease, you know, be instantly and automatically and naturally and effortlessly receiving money you know always have more than enough time money energy you know resources available to you all those things these are the things that you want to believe okay now what we need to do to get to that stage is obviously we need to reprogram our mindset now Here's the distinction I want to give to you because I'm pretty sure that you've heard about people talking about changing your mindset, change your belief system, you know, those limiting beliefs, those stories and blah, blah, blah. I get that. But here's the thing. I find, and this is what I picked up from my clients today, that the language, the languaging of those beliefs is such a crucial element. So what am I saying here? What I'm saying is that of course, we need to identify how you currently believe around money or the believe, what your beliefs are about money and success and receiving and worthiness and good enough and all that sort of stuff. And then we need to obviously create a bit of an upgrade in your you know, operating system, aka your mindset. You got to you know, flip those beliefs into beliefs that serve you. Now, you're doing great already if you if you write down new beliefs every day. Now, I am a big fan of writing beliefs um, in a way that I feel like they, they, they help me like reprogram my, un my unconscious mind much better. What I'm saying is this. Instead of just then saying, okay, good. So I know that right now I feel like I'm blocking money. I feel like money is really hard. I feel like I struggle to make enough money. I feel like I, I have to work so freaking hard to make even this little bit of money. I'm so burned out. I'm so stressed out. Money is hard. I can't afford things. You know, money does not come easily to me. You know, it's really hard to find people who want to work with me. It's really hard to find clients who want to, you know, uh, work with me and pay what I'm worth and all that sort of stuff. It's really hard. Like that. That's like obviously what sort of a bit of going on. We need to change that. We need to obviously upgrade your operating system. Now here's the thing. You can't just say, oh, it's easy to receive money. I'm easily going to be a millionaire. It's easy to receive money because I believe that your unconscious is going to go, well, yeah, well, no, it's not, the, you know, you can't just like rewrite it and be like, boom, done with it. I mean, that would be freaking miraculous. Okay. But anything is possible by the way. Okay. So there was no limits to the infinity of speed at which the universe works, by the way. But I like to reframe them and really speak um, and, and rewrite these beliefs in a sense of I give myself permission to believe or I give myself permission to be someone who or I give myself permission to be, you know, uh, to choose to believe that or I now choose to believe. Okay, so these are really great ways um, of re re I guess rewriting your beliefs around money success and your excuse me and yourself now that's already tip number one that alone is already very powerful okay so look what you believe right now obviously write down the new beliefs how do you now choose to believe around money about money now I choose to believe that I easily magnetize the right people resources and opportunities into my life I choose to believe that I 
easily, naturally and effortlessly make money with Tyler Eason Grace. I choose to believe, you know, to be someone who easily and naturally receives five, six and seven figure cash months, whatever it is, right? I choose to believe that I am someone who, you know, whose birthright it is to be successful beyond measure. I choose to believe that I am someone who at, you know, the, the core of my being knows that I am worth to receive all that I desire. I choose to believe money is easy. I choose to believe that clients come to me easily, naturally. I choose to believe that every day the right clients find me, money finds me, opportunities find me. I get to believe or I choose to believe or I give myself permission to believe that success is easy. Okay, all of these things. So because I originally started right as a fitness trainer, but then like a mindset coach, I've worked on my belief systems for like the good part of seven years. And so I could probably give you belief, like beliefs as long as the day is long. I can talk about beliefs, 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 beliefs all day because it's so important. But here's a really another distinction about this as well. So you can't just write them out. And then be done with it. Because most people, let's be honest, most people say, oh yeah, yeah, I've got to change my mindset. I've got to change my beliefs. Okay, so, oh, okay, no, I choose to believe that. Yep, success is easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I receive easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a money queen. Boy, yeah, let's go. I'm, I choose to believe that I can be a millionaire. Boom. And then what? Now write these down, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, maybe, right? No, that's not how it works. You, first of all, you got to work on them daily. <laughs> Secondly, you got to affirm them daily, right? And then here's another part. You've got to actually speak them into reality because they say, right, your language creates your reality. Language creates your reality. Super, super, super important. So what you speak into this, you know, what you speak out will manifest. What you speak out will manifest. So what you speak, I'm going to say it again, will manifest. So that's really, really important. So the thing is you can't just write them out because you can't just think yourself rich. You got to kind of like speak it out so it can manifest. Now, here's the thing. Why do you need to do that? Because when you speak, you've got actually neurons firing up going to a place in your unconscious mind and your brain going, oh, yeah, oh, okay, possibility here, new beliefs, yes, money magnet, cool story, right, we're setting up new firings, you know, your uh, electrons, so we're setting them up neurologically, we've got a reaction here, cool, we've got energy here, we are creating an upgrade here, when we speak it, into reality because only then it can manifest okay so we're going to speak it and they say you got to say something well let's say one belief system like i am a, let's say i'm a money magnet i choose to believe i'm a money magnet you're going to say that a thousand times a thousand times for it to truly become a very like an action new belief now that's what they say i'm pretty sure again there's some people who may have to say it a thousand times more and some people where maybe they change energetically a little quicker right but I'm just saying overall so that means you're gonna say that three times a day for a whole year yeah seven days a week and here's another distinction so we want to upgrade that okay so if that makes sense by the way give me some love so we want to upgrade so we want to create an upgrade in your down like operating system so we just speak it into language secondly you're going to go in front of the mirror and you're going to look in each other's eyes or you know you're going to look in your own eyes when you say it too you want to build connection to your soul they don't say for no reason that your eyes are the window to your soul. So speak to your soul, okay? Speak to your soul. Make that connection. Hey, darling, make that connection. Speak those truths out. Let them manifest. Let them create a new connection, but also connect to your soul, okay? And then thirdly, right, thirdly, there's a certain energy that comes from it and that's where you practice certainty now you want to create change what do you what do you think the key is to change it's always certainty the more certain you feel about something the more likely you're going to manifest it because if you believe it you're like no man i'm owning it i am a hundred percent hundred percent sure and certain that yes i am a money magnet like there's no ounce of my being that feels like no i'm not Hey, then you know that you've made 
an upgrade. You've changed your belief system, okay? So this is what I'm saying. It's super, super powerful. And I know I'm talking a little bit longer today, but I do believe it's quite powerful and very, very, very of value for you to understand. You cannot just go ahead and write some belief statements, beliefs, you know, once a week or twice a week and just imagine or just expect your whole world to turn around. No, you got to speak them into reality. Speak them into reality so that A, you can create neurological connection. You can create here a new upgrade. So you literally upgrade your operating system, aka that part that's between your ears. Secondly, could look into your eyes. Build that connection to your soul. Mm. Your soul already knows. Your soul already knows that you are like you were born as an infinite creation, and you have the uh, you know the the infinite possibility to create anything that you desire. That you are worth whatever you want because you are born whole, worthy, and wealthy already. Okay. And then thirdly, you want to speak it into reality so that you can create certainty. So you want to practice. So you, because the thing is, you cannot write and then go, oh, you know, yeah, I, I do believe I'm a money magnet. Mm -hmm, yes, I'm a money magnet. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm a money magnet. What the? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Really? It's like, where is that? That oomph, you know, the fire, the energy, because guess what? Energy, yeah, uh, creates certainty. And that's what you want, all right? So that's it from my end. I've got a little journal prompt if you want to do some work tonight. And that is, what am I now choosing to believe about myself, success, and money? So you can now use everything that I've said tonight and you can actually create your new affirmations or beliefs and then you do all the three things okay you say them out loud so you practice that because guess what what you speak into the reality manifests number two look in each other's eyes number three allow yourself to feel the certainty arise and again it's going to be practice because remember you got to say it and you're going to practice that every day and I promise you over time you will create a rapid shift in your certainty and in your energy okay and you open yourself up to you really change you know your belief system them. So obviously if that is of value and you do believe that there are more people out there who want to change their belief system and they maybe been doing some journaling but they're not seeing the results because they don't maybe know or really need a reminder that hey it's about speaking things into reality, speaking things into manifestation to practice you know the certainty and the energy and the operating system then of course please share this video okay please 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 share this because we know that there's more women out there who deserve to live a life of Hell yes, all right, like a solid life and business because we know that we technically, and if you choose to, we are no longer available for anything less than having it all, okay, on our own terms. So feel free to share that video. And of course, if you wanna change, or not change, if you wanna share, if you wanna share those new belief systems or you wanna give me some feedback or you wanna continue that conversation, then hang out in my Facebook group, okay? So come over to my Facebook group. You just gotta go into my bio. You gotta go up here, click on the link, come over, and then even in like two hours, I'll be live again to do a bit of a healing, release activation. So if you wanna be there live, very cool, very powerful. I think you're gonna love it. Um, I will see you there in about two hours. And of course, in the meantime, sending you lots of love. And of course, hey, Two weeks of Receiving Like a Queen will start next Monday. If you want to work with me for two weeks, Receiving Like a Queen, it's called the, the Art of Receiving Like a Queen. This is all about releasing so that you can receive and so you can rule and allow all the money, the magic and the miracles to flow to you. You want to be in that course for two weeks. Message me if you want to know the details. So epic. If I may say so, like I'm freaking excited because it's like my favorite topic in the whole wide world. And uh, I will see you in about two hours from now. In the meantime, sending you so much love. Thank you for hanging out with me. And of course, always remember, it is your time to summon that soul success on your own terms because permission to be, do, and have it all has already been granted.